Most of the software companies that we've heard about in the travel space are consumer-facing companies. My whole career and Duetto's focus is so-called enterprise software, so our customers are the hotels themselves. Uh, just for a little bit of context um, in terms of the number of hotels, there's maybe a half a million hotels in the world and growing in different you know, Asian markets and whatnot. And traditionally, uh, it's fair to say that those hotels have not use modern software. So the idea of founding Duetto was to bring, in, in some sense, modern cloud software as a service tools to the hotel industry and to help it run better. My co-founder Patrick likes to use a fun analogy. Um, the airline industry is a little bit more compact and a little bit more closed. There are maybe 10 or 20 airlines and the product is usually almost completely replaceable, you know, a, a given flight from San Francisco to New York. Uh, whether it's on airline one or airline two, we can compare those directly. Um, Patrick likes to say, imagine if every corner was as if the pilot of a plane was picking the price for that plane. And that's sort of the analogy in the hotel industry. There's far more of them, there's a lot more fragmentation. Here in the US there are these large brands, but even they are not nearly as dominant as the big airlines are. And then overseas, in fact, half of our business is in Europe where most of the hotel chains are either small independents or small chains and for various reasons they haven't had the wherewithal to build modern software themselves and also the problem space is just a little bit harder is that every corner is different and every year uh, as a hotel looks to price not only the next month but the next year there are just a lot of variables that makes the problem quite difficult. The company was founded on the idea that data aggregation is, is very powerful and some industries that's done better than others. There's certainly a lot of market power in knowing, for instance, what's the overall demand of New York City compared this year compared to last year. And we do do some of that and there are other vendors that either past looking or forward looking data have collected those aggregate statistics. But as it turns out, for any one hotel, the sort of the first order signal is that hotel's business. It's super important to know what, again, what is their typical booking pattern based on the last several years they've been in operation compared to the forward looking year. But the, the short answer is that it's a blend both of that hotel's particular circumstances and their particular inventory. We have from day one used Amazon Web Services for our entire stack. We are software as a service, we, run the, we develop and run, <clears throat> run the service, we deploy new code multiple times a week using modern techniques, and then we use various data technologies. Um, at the moment, we tend to manage and host those ourselves in Amazon, although we are using some of Amazon's managed services as well. But downstream of that, as we do offline analysis and we do exploratory work, we are using, for instance, Amazon Athena, which is really a very powerful data store that's based on S3, Amazon's kind of ubiquitous flat file storage technology. So we, we more or less pump all the data from all of our customers in a sanitized way into an Athena data store that lets our data scientists and our analysts look not only at individual hotels, but at trends and to test new parts of our algorithm. So this is the way of the modern world. It's really a golden age for me, um, from my point of view, both as a technologist and a data focused person, is that modern cloud techniques not only let you build and deploy great business logic, but they make the process of managing and manipulating data that much better. And you know, we like to think that we're um, using the best modern techniques for this. Our philosophy is to be data-driven first, to be API-driven first, to, to power the websites. We are not, you know, we don't think we can provide every piece of technology, but we, for instance, some of our um, expertise comes out of the gaming and casino industry, and we actually have live some of our APIs that make it possible to book on a website and be recognized as a loyal guest that have never been possible before. We would love to bring those same techniques of, you know, the modern e-commerce playbook um, to the rest of the industry. And that, to get into sort of the parlance of marketing, can happen early on in the funnel where maybe as a consumer you'll be targeted with more delightful advertisements for the types of rooms and the types of offers that make sense for you. And also during the, the booking process itself.